In this week's edition of Pass the PE Exam, I'm going to answer a question that I've received from many engineers, which is how do I study for the PE exam if I'm tired or just not motivated to study right now? I'm gonna give you three specific actions that you can take immediately and on a daily basis to stay focused and motivated in your PE exam preparation efforts. Before I do that, let me remind you that most successful engineers will tell you that getting their PE license was the biggest career growth driver that they've experienced. Whether it was due to a promotion, salary increase, or just more exciting projects to work on, you wanna get your PE license. However, preparing for the PE exam can be a real challenge, but through this and other videos on this channel, you will learn everything that you need to prepare for the PE exam the right way. So please subscribe to my channel here as my weekly videos will help you pass the PE exam. And if you leave questions in the comments below, I will answer them in future videos. So here we go. You have to take the PE exam, but you have an engineering job or you have a family or other personal responsibilities. You're tired and not really motivated. Here are three actions that you can take to stay motivated in preparing for the PE exam. Now, firstly, I want you to write an email to your boss and any other leaders in your firm or organization and let them know that you've registered to take the PE exam on such and such date and that you're excited about this career opportunity for both yourself and the company. This is called accountability, big time accountability. I did this when I was studying and it really drove my motivation because every time I decided that I might take a day off of studying, that email came right back to my head and I knew that I committed to my boss, to other supervisors, and that they were counting on me to get that license. And that after the exam, I was gonna have to report back to them on how it went. So you always should look to give yourself accountability whenever you're striving towards a goal and the PE license is no different. So please, the first action you should take, and maybe you could do it right now, is to email your boss or supervisor and let him or her know that you're committed to taking the PE exam on such and such date. Don't be scared, believe me, it will drive you. All right, action number two. Now this is a silly one, you're gonna laugh at me, but it worked for me in a big way. When I was preparing for the PE exam, I was tired, I had a newborn child, I had doubts in my head that I could pass the exam, so I did a very silly thing that worked. I typed out my name, Anthony Fasano, and I put the letters PE after my name. And then I cut that piece of paper out and I put it on the top of my monitor. So that every day when I came to work, I stared all day at my name with the letters PE after it. And what happened was it started to become a reality for me. It started to fuel my desire to have that PE license. As silly as it sounds, it was just there. And I was looking at it every day. It became something that had to happen for me. And that did keep me motivated and it did keep me focused on studying because I knew that I wanted to make that a reality. So listen, the good thing about it is it's free to do it and it'll take you two minutes. And again, I know it sounds a little silly, but it can motivate you. So go ahead and get your name with the letters PE after it somewhere that's visible to you on a daily basis. Third action that you can take is to utilize a process called the 10-10-10 process. This is a decision-making process that was made popular by Susie Welsh in her book, 10, 10, 10. Basically, the way it works is like this. You think about a decision that you have to make and you think about the consequences of that decision and how you're gonna feel about it in three different time periods, 10 days, 10 months, and 10 years. So if you think about the PE exam and the whole preparation process, which I know is a lot of work, I know it's gonna be six to nine months of studying, but if you say to yourself, if I really study hard for this test and I pass, how am I gonna feel about that in 10 days? Oh, maybe it's not that big a deal. In 10 months, eh, I'll feel probably pretty good about it. In 10 years, I'm gonna be thrilled that I did it because it was a career changer for me. Now on the flip side, let's say that you don't take the time to study, you don't get motivated and you don't pass that PE exam. How are you gonna feel about it in 10 weeks? Eh, you may not think much of it, 10 months, eh, it might bother you a little bit, but in 10 years from now, you're gonna say, man, why didn't I study for the PE exam when I had the chance? 
when I had the opportunity? Why didn't I get that license? Because now it's going to be really hard for me to do it. So there you have it. Three actions that you can take to stay motivated in your PE exam preparation. Email your boss to build up that accountability for yourself. Write your name with the letters PE after it or type it out and put it somewhere visible. And lastly, think about how you're going to feel 10 years from now if you do or don't pass the PE exam. I hope you found this video to be helpful. In one of our upcoming videos, I will discuss what you should bring to the PE exam. Past the PE exam videos will come out weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button so that you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you in future videos. Let me know if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a specific question that you'd like answered. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE Exam.